Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, two amazingly versatile effects pedals from Sonus. Let's get started. Today we're checking out two pedals from Saunas, Volume and Wahoo. Now Volume is a volume-based multi-effects pedal. It does gating, compression, limiting, LFO effects, tremolo effects, lots of different things this pedal can do for us. Wahoo is a dual filter pedal that does everything from traditional wah effects to vowel sounds to stepped filter effects to pitch tracking filter effects as well. It's really an interesting pedal that adds a lot of expression to your playing. Both of these pedals are incredibly deep. They basically have synthesis engines built into them. Now these are entirely analog pedals but they're digitally controlled. This allows you to have presets on board as well as very fine control over all the parameters. At its most basic, volume is a straight ahead volume pedal. And again, as I mentioned, it operates entirely in the analog domain, it's digitally controlled, and we do have true bypass, which means that when you disengage the effect, it's entirely out of your signal path. There are two ways you can engage the effect. You can step on the bypass switch, which of course engages the effect, or you can just move the treadle. When you do that, the effect will engage automatically, and then you can begin using it. So here we have a straight ahead, very clean volume pedal. When we move to the next preset, we're taking advantage of some of the parameters that are built into this effect. So we can set a minimum level and we can set a maximum level, and that maximum level can actually add a boost. So if we start with the pedal back, it's as if we're bypassed, we're at full volume. When we push the pedal forward, we're actually adding boost. This is really useful for solos because you can have your volume set where you want it using that minimum volume setting and then boost as much as you want for your leads. We can also have presets where we're not using the pedal to control what's happening, we're just using the processors inside. For example, in this next one, we've got a gate and we've got a compressor and the pedal's inactive basically. We can also have settings where we're using the pedal to control the intensity of the effects. Here I've got the gate, the compressor, and the limiter on. And when I've got the pedal all the way back, I'm not adding any of those effects. And as I bring the pedal forward, I'm engaging more compression. You're hearing the limiting and the gating start to take effect. So here's with the pedal all the way back, all the way forward. You can hear that compressor is really starting to grab there. So again, our cleaner tone and our more compressed tone. We also have an LFO built into volume, and this allows us to create tremolo effects. And you can put those tremolo effects under pedal control. So here I've got the rate of the tremolo controlled by the pedal. You can also synchronize the LFO rate using MIDI or USB, so you can lock it up to another clock, whether it's a drum machine or your DAW running inside your computer. We also have another method for controlling parameters inside volume, and that's using an envelope follower. Now the envelope follower tracks how hard you're playing the strings and routes that to control a parameter. For example, in this case, we've got the envelope follower setting the rate for our tremolo. So when we play softly, we'll get one rate. And if we hit the strings hard, we get a different rate.
The LFO is set up so you can actually create chopping type effects as well, again with the tempo or another parameter under control of the pedal or the envelope follower. The LFO is very versatile with different waveforms that you can use for shaping the tremolo effect. We can also use the pedal to create auto fade in and auto fade out. In this case, when the pedal's back, we're fading out. When the pedal's forward, we're fading in. So there are lots of different volume based effects that you can create using volume and there's a lot of access to parameters if you want to get in there and really dig deep into the editing you certainly can and you can do that again under control of MIDI via USB or it's very easy to edit from the front panel as well. Now let's take a look at Wahoo. Just like volume it's a true bypass pedal and we can engage it in two different ways either by stepping on the switch or by moving the pedal and as with volume it starts out as a traditional wah pedal. <laughs> Because we have two filters and a lot of control over the parameters for those filters, we can do all kinds of resonant wah effects as well. We can change the voicing of the wah wah very easily. So no matter what kind of wah effect you're looking for, you can easily dial it in using Wahoo. Because we have two filters, we can use those at different frequencies, make them interact to create vowel sounds as well. As with volume, we have an envelope follower built into Wahoo, and this allows the pedal to track our dynamics as it's working the filters. A common use for this would be to create funk type rhythms. And of course, because we have those two filters and we can control the voicing of those two filters, we can really shape the sound of that auto filter effect. Lots of different options for shaping that sound exactly the way you want it. Once again, as with volume, we have an LFO built into Wahoo, and this allows us to create everything from phase shifter type effects to sweeping dual filters to step filter effects. Now you may hear there's some breakup in that sound, and that's because there's actually a drive control inside of Wahoo that allows us to give it a little bit of boost and add some grit to what's happening inside those filters. <laughs> We 
another method for controlling what's happening inside Wahoo, and that's using pitch tracking. It'll actually track when you bend a string or when you slide on the string and apply that to the filter. You can even hear it operating when you do a vibrato. This allows you to get really expressive with your playing. You can do it with a traditional wah type sound, or you can use those vowel effects as well. Despite being a very deep pedal with a lot of control over what's happening with those two filters and how you're operating them, Wahoo's a very easy pedal to set up presets on. It's easy to edit, easy to store things, simply turn the knob to select the parameter that you want, the control source that you want, make the settings you want, save it to a new user preset. We have 100 factory presets on board as well as space for 100 user presets. If you're looking for pedals that will give you traditional effects as well as take you way beyond the traditional and create some new creative sounds and add a lot of expression to your playing, Volume and Wahoo are two pedals you're definitely going to want to check out. They integrate very easily whether you're running them in front of your amp or you're using them in an effects loop. You can also use them in a computer DAW situation. Really versatile pedals that have a lot of power for shaping your sounds and giving you expressive possibilities. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Wow.